It was not too long ago when you saw me babbling about all the tech and gadgets that I bought and were sent to me by brands for me to feature and review. This year is extra special because you helped me cross the 60,000 subscribers mark and I'm very thankful for this achievement that you and I worked together. Anyway, ito na. In today's video, we're going to talk about my best tech of 2022. Our team at Gadget Pilipinas under Eman's leadership will also have a separate list and we cannot wait to share that with you as well. Let's start off with my best laptops of 2022, the Asus ZenBook Fold, MacBook Air M2, and the Huawei MateBook X Pro. These new laptops are perfect for every user. The Asus ZenBook Fold is, of course, part of my list because of its innovative design, style, and capability as a laptop. It's the laptop that can literally turn into many forms, and this just shows how forward-looking Asus is. As a foldable laptop, it presents various ways to maximize its utility, and I cannot wait for its successors in the near future. This laptop also showcases Asus capabilities to research and produce high-end laptops with features that its competitors have a hard time copying. Next is the MacBook Air M2. This wasn't exactly my MacBook of first choice because I was actually eyeing the MacBook Pro with M1 Pro chipset. I ended up getting the MacBook Air M2 because I was after portability without compromising power. This laptop certainly delivers in every aspect, and this one is in fact my laptop of choice on my upcoming CES coverage this January. I'm able to edit and render 8 minutes 1080p to 4K videos with minor fusion effects in less than 10 to 15 minutes on battery. This laptop's battery is so good, it lasts for more than 17 hours at moderate usage. Lastly, the Huawei MateBook X Pro is the Windows version of the MacBook Air M2 that I've got right here. It's versatile, powerful, and has the best implementation of the ecosystem between Windows and Android, thanks to Huawei's EMUI and Harmony engine. This may not be something I am using to play games, I have the ASUS ROG Flow Z13 for that, but this laptop is certainly a keeper when it comes to overall performance for productivity. Next, I super love these smartphones, the Apple iPhone 14 Pro Max and the ROG Phone 6 Pro. These are just simply the best combination of devices for productivity and gaming. The iPhone 14 Pro Max is by far the best flagship overall when it comes to productivity. This includes photo and video editing, content creation, and connectivity to existing Apple devices. The ROG Phone 6 Pro, on the other hand, is my go-to smartphone for gaming. It can really deliver everything I need when it comes to playing mobile games and using emulators. It also has a slew of other features that make it more than just a gaming smartphone. It takes good photos and has IPX4 rating, making it resistant to water splashes. Now, when it comes to handheld gaming devices, I have three things to mention. The Valve Steam Deck, Ioneo Air Pro, and the RG353V by Anbernic. I talked about the Steam Deck many times on this channel, and this one is in fact my best gadget of 2022. While it is certainly not the most powerful handheld gaming device in the market, it is able to handle quite a number of games I throw at it. Right now, I am playing Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core Reunion at flat 40 FPS on this device, and this just shows how amazing this device is. Another handheld gaming device that I love is uh, this one that I recently bought, the Ion Neo Air Pro. This is running on Windows, but I am looking forward to partitioning its drive to install Holo ISO or Steam Deck OS on this. This made me appreciate how good Ion Neo is when it comes to making handheld devices, which makes me think about getting the Ion Neo too. This device is able to run AAA titles even better than the Steam Deck. My only issue with this one is its price, which is a little steeper compared to the Steam Deck. So, whenever I'm asked what to buy, if they only have 33,000 budget, I just tell them to get a Steam Deck plus a 512 gig, 2280 size SSD. But if budget is not an issue, the Ioneo Air Pro is easily one of my recommendations. Of course, before the Ioneo 2, which will come out pretty soon. Now, if there's a budget handheld gaming device that I really love using this 2022, it would be the Anbernic RG353V. This is running on Jelos and a custom Android OS. I can choose to boot Jelos so I can run some emulators or the custom Android version so I can sideload some Android APK games or just run emulators that don't play perfectly on Jelos, which is actually a Linux build. 
I love the controls on this device, plus its size fits perfectly on my pocket or small bag. Now, some of the things I'll mention next are my favorite stuff that form part of my EDC or everyday carry. First is this flashlight, the Imelent LD40. This is the brightest mini flashlight I own and I cannot leave home without it. It has a maximum output of 4,000 lumens. It uses Cree XHP70.2 LED light. It has 1100 milliampere battery that can let you use this device continuously for 14 to 15 hours. Double tapping the switch enables turbo mode, which boosts its light to its maximum output. It also has strobe mode that can be used as a deterrent to wild animals or other hostile creatures. It has a small OLED display that shows the current lumen setting. Another one that I always carry with me is this CEO circuit or CRKT. This pocket knife is amazing. This is the knife that I use when I open boxes. It is light and low profile. It is built with reset thumb stud with an IKBS ball bearing pivot system that makes it easy to flick out. It gets locked in place securely and safely as well. Part of my EDC are my wallets. I use two wallets, this big skinny wallet for my card and debit cards, and this modular fanning wallet by Phantom. It's amazing how this big skinny wallet maintains its size despite being stuffed with cards and paper bills. It is unbelievable that this wallet now currently holds more than 20 paper bills and seven cards. My Phantom X on the other hand can hold up to 13 cards. It has this switch at the top that retracts very smoothly to fan out the cards. It is modular too. Attached on my Phantom X are the cash and AirTag holders. Last but not the least is my favorite sling bag this year, the TomTok Carrying Case for Steam Deck. As a carrying case, it can hold the Steam Deck securely plus my other EDCs like wallets, flashlights, knife, passports, and a few loose coins. I always carry this around and it's unarguably the best sling bag I own. So far, these are my favorite gadgets and EDCs this 2022. I am looking forward to more and better ones this 2023. Should you want to check out the products I mentioned, you may check out the affiliate links I included in the description. If you have any suggestions, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments section below. I'd like to know your list too and maybe consider to buy a thing or two from it in the future. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year! This has been GN of Gadget Pilipinas. Maraming salamat and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!